This presentation will cover options to select when simulating a memory subsystem in the Pulifier FPGA. Simulation plays a major role in validating a design before committing it to hardware. In the case of a design with external DDR memory, the DDR interface must be established before the memory int subsystem can operate normally. These steps can be very time consuming to simulate, so it must be determined if there is a value in simulating the initialization of this interface. The memory subsystem can be seen on the top right of this example design. We are using a DDR4 interface, and the test bench includes a bus functional model of the memory component. Liberal Design Environment Dashboard is shown here with the Design Flow tab selected. Highlighted are the three points where simulation may be launched. Pre-synthesis simulates source code. Post-synthesis simulates the output of logic synthesis after the design is converted into Polifier primitives and it uses estimated timing. Post, place, and route simulates timing due to route lengths and paths, setup and hold times, and other real-world delays. In order to simulate, a test bench must be developed. It needs to include the simulation model for the DDR4 controller IP, which comes from the Libero catalog, as well as a bus functional model of the memory component, which comes from the memory vendor. Note that Libro can provide a template to help you write the simulation test bench. When selecting the memory controller for your design, select the Catalog tab. Expand the Memory Controllers section and double-click on Polarfire DDR4. A Create Component pop-up appears. Enter an instance name, click OK to proceed to configuring the memory controller. Shown is the Memory Configurator. All the fields under each tab need to be populated based on the memory density, speed grade, DDR frequency, and so on. We will focus on the simulation mode selections under the Rightmost Miscellaneous tab. The user can select from three modes, Full, Training, and Fast, with Fast being the default setting. The Full mode includes settling time and training processes. Settling time is the time from the removal of power on reset through FPGA initialization, which then kicks off the memory controller training. Training mode simulates the establishment of the DDR interface and skips settling time. Finally, fast mode skips both settling time and training. It is the default selection as it has the least impact on simulation time and settling and training are fully validated functions. Note that the mode selected only impacts the simulation as the selection has no effect on generating the FPGA bitstream. Here is the time consumed in simulating the DDR in different modes. Using the pre-synthesis launch point, fast simulation mode took 8.78 microseconds of simulation time and three minutes of wall time until controller ready was asserted, meaning the memory controller is ready for normal operation. When including training, controller ready took 323.7 microseconds and two and three quarter hours. Adding settling time will take much more time for a little return and validation. Executing post synthesis continues to add to simulation time. In summary, the configurator provides the means to configure the memory subsystem for physical operation, as well as to create a simulation model. To gain a high level of confidence of a working design, it is recommended to leave the simulation mode in the default fast mode setting and to launch the simulation in the pre-synthesis simulation launch point. The focus should be to verify pre-synthesis functionality and to develop robust and high coverage timing constraints. This completes the DDR interface simulation discussion. Additional information can be found in the following documents. The Polifier FPGA Memory Controller User Guide, UG0676. The Polifier FPGA User IO User Guide, UG0686. The Polifier FPGA Design Guide, DG0546, 
And finally, the Libero SOC 12.4 Design Flow User Guide, UG0758. Thank you. <music>